So once again, we're at a point where we have the leg over our shoulder and we're gonna go ahead and push here. Now, when we have an opportunity to use a lapel and gi, then we should, because that's a great handle. So I'll grab here and I'm continuing to push. Now with a shovel pass, it's important to realize that you find better results when you do this slow. The reason why is because this labors your opponent's breathing. The more you affect their breathing, the more their decision-making starts to get worse. So I'm not in a hurry here when I have this control. My arm goes in, I grab the hip, I put my knee behind, and this is when I create directional control. Every way my opponent moves, I'm able to block. If Scott ends up pushing towards me, my knee is blocking. And I'll use my foot as a ratchet to lift up his legs higher. I'll also use my hand here to cup the hip so he can't hip out. If he turned towards me, he's running into my body. If he turns away, I'm pulling on the lapel. So this is an excellent opportunity and the pass is gonna be as simple as you pushing with your chest and collapsing their legs. The techniques go much deeper than this. To find out more information and to dig deeper into the truth, please stay tuned to the Jiu Jitsu Revolution.